Hello everyone, today we're gonna take a look at the new Marvel Legends Venom and the Ultimate Symbiote Spider-Man. So these figures both came with box sets, like, like with different five figures, but I'm only interested in this two, so I will just show them. And basically they are the same bodies that they used before. So this figure was used before for Ultimate Spider-Man and Ultimate Miles Morales Spider-Man. Everything exactly the same, just different paint and different plastic color. Everything else the same. And the Venom is basically this Venom, the animated Venom, but with darker, not darker, but this was more like blue and the comic Venom, the regular comic Venom is more black. And it comes with a different hat. We will compare with this later. So first, let's take a look at the Spider-Man. He came with um, different hands, everything you need. So the web shooting hand and the fist hands and I already have him here with the wall crawling hands great we got the wall crawling hands and the plastic is really nice so it's purple it's really like metallic purple I think it's really looks just like from the ultimate comics and also the video game I was a big fan of the video game so I'm really really happy to have this figure and I think it looks great I would have been happier of course if it if he came along, just a separate release. I think they wanted to release this figure back in the day when they already made this body mold with the Ultimate Spider-Man and the Miles Morales, but I guess they couldn't find the right time to release him. So they just put him in a random box set, which made zero sense because the other characters were like from 616 universe and he's from the Ultimate universe. So Hasbro did Hasbro things again. And uh, of course this body is kind of outdated but I still like it it's not that bad I would say it's, it holds up in a way it's lacking the butterfly joints and has of course pins and it's a it's a small figure so you're gonna have to see the pins more and it's gonna bother you more especially inside the arms um, but it's it's not that bad I have to say my only issue is it's in the five pack. I mean, make it a single release and put it at a normal price point, then I would be happy. But yeah, the paint is amazing. That's what I have to say. The plastic paint, I mean. And the white is actually also, I mean, it's clean enough. It doesn't bother me. On the back, it's a bit thin. Yeah, I mean, here is, this is not good. It's too thin on the back, okay. On the on the front is fine, but this this is terrible. It should be it should be much thicker, I think. I mean, it doesn't peel off or anything. That's good when you articulate it. So it's the same figure as before. So the articulation is not that bad. But yeah, as I said, the, it it lacks the butterfly joints. It's still kind of fine. You can make some nice poses. The head can look really high, as you can see so it's not so bad um but yeah i expected much more because also i am a big big ultimate symbiote spider-man fan because of the video game i wish they also release a venom figure in this purple color and with the monster venom body mold that would make me really happy with a new head sculpt of course give us a new head sculpt if you do that and uh, I guess this is a new head sculpt because uh, the lenses were different on the other two Spider-Man. I suppose. I don't remember. Maybe the Miles had this, but Peter not because it should be different inside. It shouldn't be just one piece. It should be like black lenses and then the white part. So, yeah. And uh, of course, this guy is much smaller than a regular Spider-Man figure. As you can see here, the retro Spider-Man. This is really a teenage body mold, so yeah, Ultimate Spider-Man was this small. So that's nice, so that's correct. And uh, let's put him back in his pose. I like this kind of jumping pose that I just had. And uh, yeah, it's easy to pose the figure. The leg articulation could be a bit better, I think. It's a bit struggling compared to today's standards of spider-man i mean i have to compare it with the new figures of course because it just got released so they took the risk to release this old body mold so i have to criticize it 
um, I got this Mayfax stand which has a tiny clip and yeah it's gonna look okay on the shelf I am glad they used this purple plastic otherwise it would suck imagine this is just plain black that would really suck so there is something special about it still and the Venom figure so the Venom figure comes with this new hat sculpt uh, I like it I like it the tongue is kind of uh, too long for my taste it's like a modern inter interpretation and I wish there was some paint on the tongue to be honest it's just plain red so uh, like the Venom we got before it had some uh, green paint on the tongue I can't show that Venom now because it's on my display um, so no paint on the teeth or I mean no details just white just white eyes I think that's the problem with this head scope it's a nice head scope but lack of detail it kind of looks cheap so yeah it's fine it's fine so the other head scope is the thing so and of course it comes with interchangeable hands so the same hands we got with the animated venom just grabbing hands crawling um hands you can also say and the fist hands and this head sculpt is the great head sculpt so they put all the work here obviously because this Eddie Brock head sculpt looks amazing really the detail is really nice it's the face printing technology on the comic book figures now that's really nice and there is a small little paint of symbiote here that's also a nice touch uh, again we just get white paint on the teeth and no details on the tongue but this doesn't bother here that's that much since it's just half mask and they filled here the ports I remember putting here the Marvel select Disney exclusive Venom uh, tendrils so it just looks like that I don't know <laughs> they could have done this here as well they didn't unfortunately because maybe it's not animation accurate um, but yeah it could have been nicer and I unfortunately I have some paint issues here as you can see the blue is coming off and some parts of the black so it didn't hold up that well here also the blue is coming off the all the shading is very sensitive which sucks Hasbro that really sucks because I have the same problem here so as you can see here the white is coming off it's peeling off like look at this so when I do this see it's coming off that's unacceptable really that's really unacceptable for the, for the price especially so when you keep doing it it's gonna get worse and worse so I can just stick it like this and cover it until it totally comes off and here another black spot here another black spot so terrible the paint is terrible I mean you literally had one job to do paint the fucking spider logo on a venom figure which is completely black and has no other other paint other than that it's clean on the back and it's not on any articulation point so I suppose it won't come off so easy uh, the hands are painting terrible as well look at that so on the other hand not that bad here is also some black spots here is okay but it's a very weird kind of paint it's not so thin but it comes off it's not so durable so I don't know what's going on there and as I said this is the same body it has pins of course um, oh my god body um, the body is nice for venom so I always wanted this size venom um, it's gonna look great on the shelf still with this head sculpt but um, I'm gonna have to repaint it maybe one day the, the white when the white paint keeps coming off so that really sucks that really sucks and the legs are kind of shiny and the body here is more matte also and that also sucks I don't know how visible it is on the camera but the legs shine a lot more than here as you can see so it's different kind of plastic I mean if you use this plastic then at least put it a matte coat so it matches you know so I cannot accept the accept the fucking excuse it's a different kind of plastic yeah but paint it then there is no other paint there's zero paint so just put here some matte paint and everything will be fine 
just like this figure. Actually, why did they have to use a different plastic? This figure is completely matte. There is no shine to it at all. So if you if you want to do a shine, then use the same plastic. Or if you want to make it matte, then make it matte. I mean, what's going on there? Yeah. So of course you cannot do a head, head swap or anything because it doesn't match the colors. Um, let's check the other head sculpt on here. This also looks very nice, but it looks cheaper, I have to say, because of the details lacking. So, as you can see, there's a high amount of detail on one side and then just plain colors on the other side. So, yeah, I mean, if you find these figures separate and if you're really interested in them, get them. But I wouldn't recommend getting the whole box set for these figures. So. I might also send them back, honestly, because I'm only interested in this too. So, yeah, next to Spider-Man, the size is very good. Um, no problems with that, but the paint sucks. That's it for today.